What is up YouTube? This is Eli Beaverson Golf and today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Titleist AVX golf ball. Guys, if you're new here, consider subscribing and if you enjoy the video at any time, make sure you give it a thumbs up. So if you haven't seen my other golf ball reviews, click the link up here in the corner, that way you know how this video will be formatted. So I'll be testing these in six categories, each worth five points. So in theory, the perfect golf ball would be 30 out of 30 points. The segments are as follows, putting feel, short game feel and spin, and then on the golf course, full shot performance, wind performance, and durability. So the AVX from Titleist is a premium urethane covered golf ball. The first thing I noticed taking the golf ball out of the sleeve is that the dimples look very shallow compared to the Pro V1 and Pro V1X. Not completely sure what that'll mean for the golf ball performance, but we'll find out. And guys, also in this video, I'm introducing a new segment called Box Breakdown. Basically, I'll be taking a look at all the things that are claimed on the box, and we'll be seeing if those are true throughout the review. So let's see what Titleist is claiming about the AVX. The AVX player benefits, according to Titleist, are remarkable distance, exceptionally soft feel, very low long game and iron spin, and premium scoring control. So as this review plays out, I will see if those are true or not. So guys, first up, I'll be testing this golf ball for putting feel. So guys, in terms of putting feel, I'm someone who prefers a softer golf ball. So I'm gonna just stroke a few nice four footers here, and we're just gonna see what my initial impressions of the AVX are. They feel really, really soft right now. Definitely softer than what I remember of the Pro V1 and Pro V1X models. Yeah, they feel really, really nice. So let me hit a couple longer lag putts and let you guys hear the sound they make off of the putter. They definitely have a really nice muted sound to me. They definitely feel really soft to me. And one complaint is just in that little longer putt there is they have a little bit of a kind of heavier thud feel. But from a feeling standpoint, I'm gonna give them a four and a half out of five because they felt really, really good. Okay guys, I've got my sleeve of AVXs in a sandwich. It's time to practice some short game shots and see how this golf ball reacts. First off, I'm gonna have a simple little 10 or 12 yard chip shot. Second, I'll have a little 25 yard pitch. And then third, I'll do a 50 yard pitch, just seeing how they feel and spin and react on and around the greens. Okay, for the 25 yard pitch, I'm gonna set myself right up there back in the fairway. And then I'll be pitching to this pin. I don't know if you can see on the screen, but there's a ridge about here. So I really wanna land it about there, have it kind of check, spin, and then just release softly and break toward the cup. So on those pitch shots, the AVX felt really good. It felt a little bit heavy though to me. So I'm gonna give it a four on feel, but in terms of spin, it was decent. I'm gonna give it a three and a half. I think it had adequate stopping power, but I didn't really feel it gripping that face like some other golf balls I've tested and really grabbing and spinning. It had a medium trajectory and medium spin versus the kind of lower trajectory and high grippy spin feel, which I prefer. So four for feel, three and a half for spin on the short game. So I've got the AVX out here on the golf course. I'm at holes 16, 17, and 18 at Purgatory. I've got a long par four, short par three, and a potentially reachable par five. So all the putting and short game stuff put aside, let's see how this thing performs in the real world. Okay, hole 16, par four, it's somewhere around 420 yards. The wind is slightly into me. I'm taking a three wood, so I'll hopefully leave a long iron in. That was a little bit toey. 
but right up the middle. Yeah, I expected that poorly struck drive to go about 230 yards, and that's about exactly what it went. So it leaves me about 175 or so uphill into a little breeze. So I'm gonna take a five iron, see if I can get it there. That's just left of it. That's really piercing the air nicely. Got a good kick right, we'll see. That felt really nice. Well guys, I was shocked to walk up here and find the ball 10 yards long. That's surprising. But remember, they did claim that it was low spinning off iron, so that seems true so far. Okay guys, I am on the par 317th. It's probably playing just a shade over 130. So first I'm gonna hit a good aggressive pitching wedge, and then I'm gonna try to hit a soft nine iron. Those are important shots for me to be able to hit and make sure that the golf ball isn't going to air mail the target. So first up with an aggressive pitching wedge. Man, that's so high. That's just left of it a little ways. All right, let's try the nine iron. A little bit lower flight there and just right. So walking up, you can see this is my pitching wedge shot right here. The tee was way to our right. Equidistant with the hole is our nine iron shot up there, so that's good. I like to be able to control the distance with numerous clubs. Okay, hole 18 is a short and most likely reachable par five today with the wind helping slightly. So let's see if this AVX packs some punch. That felt so soft. That's straight as an arrow also. We'll see, it could be perfect. Wow, that's one of the biggest drives I've hit at this hole. So I've got about 180 in, slightly downwind. I'm gonna try to step on a six iron. A little bit of a pull at the left edge. If it carries the bunker, I think it did. Well, simple tap and birdie. That one got there easily in two. It was actually a little bit long of target. Good birdie though. All right guys, so out on the golf course, in terms of full shot performance, I'm giving it a four and a half out of five. The golf ball felt really soft off the face. The trajectory was nice and high. It performed nicely. In the wind, I'm gonna give it a four and a half. We didn't have tons of breezes today, but enough that I feel like it's gonna perform really, really nicely in the breeze. In terms of durability, the golf ball I played those few holes with, there weren't any scuffs or anything on it. It had a tiny bit of paint discoloration, so that's the only reason it doesn't score higher than a four. So to total up the points, it comes in at a 25 out of 30, which is a really solid performance. Now guys, let's not forget to look back at the box breakdown. So it says remarkable distance. Uh, I would say the distance was very good. With the driver, I don't know if it went any further than I would normally expect, but with the irons, I probably picked up half a club versus what I would have expected. Exceptionally soft feel, absolutely. That box is checked completely. Very low long game and iron spin, absolutely. That is completely true for me. Um, it was going nice and high, it wasn't spinning too much, which can be a good thing for some players. It can be a little bit bad on these firmer greens though because the golf ball was releasing a bit further than I would like. And finally, premium scoring control. I would say that's basically green side spin and they didn't spin as much as I expected, so I'll leave that decision to you guys. So guys, what did you think about this review? Did you enjoy it? And will you be testing out the AVXs for yourself? Let me know in the comment section below. And guys, I'll see you in the next video.